these are flashback. Okay, what is that? Okay, so you're cutting, and I have a piece here. We're going to do a little demonstration here. Um, you're cutting on your honeycomb board, and you are, as you're cutting, sometimes you might hear something go pop, 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 pop. And when you uh, take your project off, the back of your project is all black and discolored from, actually it's secondary combustion that's happening down inside that honeycomb because there's no place for the smoke to go. And when it gets hot enough down in there, that can reignite and that's where you hear them little pops. Or you may just get a bunch of discoloration on the back uh, because Number one, if your honeycomb board is extremely dirty, you're going to get that anyway, regardless of what I'm going to show you here. But if your honeycomb board is relatively clean, all you need to do is space that honeycomb board up a little bit between the protective sheet that goes underneath and the honeycomb board itself. And what I've done here, and yes, this is sponsored by me, I have designed some little 3D printed risers for your honeycomb. They look like this. It's on one on each corner and it raises it up five millimeters. And you could also use it if you wanted to do it on top of the honeycomb board and raise your piece up five millimeters. Just remember to adjust your focus accordingly. So this makes a huge difference, especially when there is some fine close together cuts. And that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna cut out a beard comb out of this eighth inch plywood from Dollar Tree. I have a bunch of them around, and I've actually found some that were fairly flat. So I'm going to cut out a beard comb on here, and because that has a lot of fine teeth. They look like this. And I'll show you that we will have no flashback on the back of it. This is on the uh, longer V1 laser, and the reason I'm using it is because I just did a video about the custom mounts that I have for this now, along with risers. And uh, yes, you're welcome to purchase those too. I'll put a link in the description on both the uh, little honeycomb risers and the mounts and risers for the longer B1 laser along with a link to the video of where you can see exactly how those work. As you can see here, the smoke is blowing right off the sides here now. You, you don't have uh, that smoke trapped down inside. And yes, I should have a fan going in here, but I don't, so it's going to get a little bit smoky. But it's not like I'm cutting out a whole lot of things. And hopefully you can see there the smoke is just exiting immediately, and it's not uh, building up underneath the honeycomb. That's where you get that flashback and that discoloration on the back of your project. I know you don't need to buy these from me to raise your honeycomb board up. You could use a stack of quarters if you wanted to or something else. But uh, just to point out how to uh, get rid of that flashback problem that uh, people have. And I've always done this. I've just never made a point of mentioning it. And so there it is. Okay, so we'll take this off of here and yep, hopefully it'll drop right out. So yeah, a little bit of scorching in the front here. I probably could have backed off of my power a little bit there, but on the back, uh, the only discoloration we have is you, where the sticker was from Dollar Tree right there. The adhesive is still there. But as you can see, there's no black, there's no discoloration back here. So if it hadn't been for that sticker, this here would be done and ready to go. And so there we are, just a quick little video here to show you how to eliminate that, what they call flashback, where you end up with uh, a bunch of scorching on the back of your project when using a honeycomb board. And you'll really know you're getting that if you start hearing that going pop, pop, pop as it's doing its cutting. Uh, so yeah, you just need to raise the honeycomb board up a little bit between the uh, protective sheet underneath and the honeycomb board. and. We will have these here little riser deals, 5mm riser deals for sale on our website. Be a link in the description. 
uh, along with the mounts and riders and stuff, as I mentioned, for the longer B1 laser, if you're interested. And no, you don't have to use these. You could use a piece of quarter inch plywood too. But these are kind of handy and you could put a little, uh, one of them little 3M mounting squares in there and have it glued to that and then it would always stay there. So just a suggestion, hint, how to avoid that flashback. If you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. I'm Roger in a very messy shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.